Patrick and his family were used to the hustle and bustle of the city, but they were getting tired of it. They wanted to have some peace and quiet while they went along with their busy lives. They considered it might be time for a change and started looking into houses near the forest they loved so much. But with the forest came wild animals. That didn't bother Pardick much, though. He was sure he could keep his family safe and didn't think any animals would come up to their house. With that thought in mind, Patrick started looking at properties. The perfect place would be in or near the forest, as his family liked exploring. Patrick found a perfect house right at the edge of the forest. It was big enough for his entire family, and it had a fantastic view of the nature that surrounded it. They moved in, and for eight years, they lived there without incident. But things were about to change. Walking through the woods. One day, when Patrick and his family were walking through the woods, he spotted something. There was a fox hanging around near them. Foxes were known in the area and didn't pose a very large risk, so he ignored it, and the family went about their walk. However, the incident didn't end there. Strangely, the fox followed the family all the way to their cabin, and it started acting strangely. It would tap on the window as if it were trying to get the family's attention. Patrick watched it for a while, not knowing what to make of the animal's behavior, but he shrugged it off yet again. Patrick didn't know that it was just the beginning. The very next day, there was yet another fox tapping on the log cabin window in an attempt to get attention. It was starting to freak Patrick out, but he didn't know how to handle it. Should he try to chase the foxes away? Were they looking for food? What would he do if more came? As Patrick feared, there was another fox the next day, and the day after. In fact, it kept happening every single day for a month and a half. The more foxes showed up, the more concerned Patrick became. This kind of behavior was definitely not usual for wild animals. But what could he do? Patrick started paying more attention to the foxes. He thought that the behavior was strange and wanted to figure out what was behind it. What were they trying to do? Were they becoming a danger to his family? Would they find a way into his house while he was asleep? And what would they do if they did? It was only a month and a half after the first encounter that Patrick realized he wasn't dealing with multiple foxes. There was only one that was coming by his house every single day. That put him at ease a bit since one fox wasn't as dangerous as many of them. But why did it keep coming back? This new discovery led to Patrick having even more questions than he did before. Was the fox really trying to show or tell him something? Was it in some kind of danger or warning him of something like that? He tossed out the thought that the fox might just be hungry because it didn't seem to be the case anymore. But Patrick started wondering if he should follow the fox. Not giving it a second thought, Patrick put on his boots and headed out of the house. He approached the fox, who seemed happy instead of afraid. The fox then ran into the forest, and Patrick followed trying his best to keep up with the agile creature. But the fox was smart. The fox led Patrick deeper into the forest. So deep, in fact, that he almost didn't know how to get back home anymore. Patrick was starting to wonder if he had made the right choice by following it. He didn't want to get stranded in the woods at this time of the year. Just as Patrick was about to turn back, he heard something. There were faint cries coming from a denser part of the woods next to him. The fox ran in the direction of the cries, leaving Patrick stumped. He suspected he knew what was going on and instantly started blaming himself. After a brief moment, Patrick headed in the same direction as the fox went. He knew they were close, but he dreaded what he would find when he arrived. He'd ignored the fox for so long that if anything happened, he would blame himself entirely. Whatever was wrong could have been dealt with over a month ago, but he didn't pay enough attention. The cries became louder, and Patrick soon stumbled upon a fox den where four tiny pups were curled up. It was a very sweet sight, but Patrick quickly realized something was wrong with them. The pups looked weak. If he didn't act soon, they wouldn't make it. But would the mom that led him there allow him to remove her pups? 